Thanks for joining Rudy and me. We're in a really powerful passage in Matthew chapter 18 today. Verse 10 says, Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you in heaven their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go and search for the little one that went astray? If he finds it truly, I tell you, he rejoices over it more than the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it's not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. Uh, the word despise might trip us up. In our world, despise is we hate, we get angry at them. In, in the Bible, despise means to think less than. So Jesus is saying, when you see a little one, someone who doesn't have high status, someone who is the poor in spirit, as we read in the uh, Beatitudes, or someone who has been humbled, as we also read in the Beatitudes, he says, when you see someone like this, don't think less than them because their angels continually see the face of the Father. Uh, God has used this and then whispered into my heart on many occasions to bring me up with my attitude about what's going on. And uh, I have a lot of stories to, to tell, not in my favor along that way. I remember doing uh, renewal of vows for a couple. One of the nice things about being retired is I don't do that anymore. But uh, I was meeting a couple for the renewal of their vows. We were in the backyard. It was kind of hot. I had my suit on. Nobody else had a suit on but me. And we were waiting for somebody to drive in to be a part of that. And it went on and on and on. And in my mind, I am just raging. And I am thinking less than this couple, and they are, quote unquote, some of God's little ones. And I, I still remember God saying, come on, Bob, get a life. You can do better than this. So, <laughs> oh, listen, I, I could tell you stories for longer than we have on this video about that. Comment on this passage. Well, I have stories too, and it, it, you know, it has to do with having a bad at my my personally having a bad attitude as well and you know for me uh, in the journey that I'm in right now with trying trying to have the Lord help me with my iniquities mm -hmm. uh, the only the way that he helps me the most is, I, I believe that he has he's shown me how dark my iniquities are. Iniquity of thought process. Thought process. Right. The way of my thoughts. And so when, because he has shown me the darkness there, it has made me more aware when I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. And so therefore the amount of time that I am in the throes of this darkness has been shortened. And really, it's probably the best that it's ever gonna be for me. Mm -hmm. Because if I, if I could fix it, I wouldn't need a Messiah. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is that this, 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 this problem that I have mm -hmm. is teaching me uh, how to do unto others. Absolutely. Which is going to be very important forever. Yeah. Well, on Saturday, Maple House, which is a recovery house, celebrated being in business for 25 years. Hallelujah. And there was a really nice gathering, and they asked me to speak because I've been involved with them for a while. I was honored to do that. Uh, and I told a story of a fellow who was drunk out of his mind, calling me, wanting to, he was south missouri wanted me to come pick him up and bring him back to kansas city and i told him i didn't do it and uh, he called me back and i told him i wasn't going to do it he got really angry at me and the third time he got more angry 
What was interesting is someone who was a part of the program of AA drove to South Missouri and picked him up and brought him back and got him sober. And uh, they were giving evidence to what Jesus is talking about here. There's one out of the 99 who needs to be found. And we're going to go find him. We're going to bring him back. Uh, I could tell you, uh, again, like some of my other failings, other stories about how people do that in the program of AA. And it's to their credit. And may the church and preachers like me have that sort of spirit. Now, just to be transparent, I think I did the right thing, but I also think they did the right thing there. Uh, I agree. Uh, sometimes not not coming to the aid of someone that you think needs it takes away the opportunity for the other, some other, to fulfill that need. Yeah, and I probably wasn't qualified. They had a couple of people that went yeah, that sort of thing. One more phrase, and I'm going to ask you to pray, Rudy. Uh, talks about that uh, they're angels of these little ones continually see the face of the Father. That always puts a smile to my face. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and Jesus is not telling you anything that's not true. Yeah. So this is true. So how are you? How are you treating? A little one. Yeah. Uh, well, know, if they've got an angel, we ought to at least pay them some attention. <laughs> honestly, it's plural. I know. They're angels. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it, it also has to do with what Jesus had been talking about earlier, about how men were teaching the commandments, my commandments, but through men's eyes. Right. And they were saying, you know, if, if an animal had fallen would, on the Sabbath, would you not help it? Right. And they, for sure you would, because right. that's the right thing to do. And it's the right thing to do, even if it's the Sabbath. And I think that's kind of in this as well. You got it. You got it. Hey, pray for us. Father, we thank you for your mercy and your grace. Lord, help us to understand the depth of what that means. Yes. Father, if it were not for your grace, mm -hmm. uh, we would have no hope. That's right. But Lord, you have displayed it over and over again in history not only in the thousands of years that men have been on earth, men and women have been on earth, but in our lives today mm -hmm. as individuals. Mm -hmm. Help us to recognize the depth of that mm -hmm. Father in Jesus' name. Right. Amen. Rudy, thank you. Thank you all for listening. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.